He installed a GPS tracker on my car and gave me the worst shock of my life when he showed up. Hello guys, I am Linda. I'm 30 years old and I am here to tell you how my husband caught me cheating on him and my life is destroyed. I'm going straight to the story, guys, because I know that even if I try to tell it in a gentle way, I will be judged. And you have all the right to judge me because what I have done is horrible. I had been married to Jack for four years now. I knew him at my last job. We were colleagues and friends. He was like my best friend. I would talk to him about everything, and he would always support me and be there for me. So when we got together, I felt so lucky and so happy to have him in my life. We worked together for two years. Then I left, and I started working at the company where I am now. I work as a corporate lawyer, and he is a financial analyst. He is still working at that company. I changed because I found it better, and as per the company policy, we could not work for the same company when we decided to get married. His proposal was the thing I will never forget. He made it look like we were in a movie, and it was amazing. We were on vacation together on a beach, and at night he asked me to go by the beach and take a walk, and there we were, with a small LED light he had written, Will you marry me? Also, there were a lot of white roses. We both were wearing white, so imagine what a theme. Ours was my favorite love story until things in our life together got the wrong turn. I am the one to blame, and I know I will be judged by all. But I did what I did, and I can't turn back time. I cheated on my husband, guys, and I am so sorry for that. I regret everything, but now it is too late because I can't change anything. I can't bring him back, and I can't undo his revenge, which really tore me apart. Now it's time for me to reveal the worst thing I have done in my life, and I hope that some of you will also try to give me any advice or support me. <laughs> While me and my husband were both going through difficult times in our careers, I found comfort in someone else's arms. During this time, I had changed jobs, and it was kind of hard for me to get into this new place and new work, and everything was new. While my husband was fighting for a promotion, he had no time for us. Of course, we were together at home, but that wasn't enough. While I changed my job, not everything was bad. There I found this guy called Luke. He was tall with black hair and brown eyes. He has caught my eye since the first day, and he was responsible for touring me into the company and explaining everything I needed to know. He was going to be my favorite colleague and more. Day by day, we started spending more and more time together. Work became my favorite place to go. I could not wait to wake up in the morning and go there because I knew he would be there waiting for me to have the morning coffee together. He became one of the most important people in my life. Then we also started meeting each other outside of work. Suddenly, we were not just colleagues or friends anymore. We became lovers. I thought I was in love with him because I was experiencing those kinds of emotions I had never experienced before. Maybe when I was a teenager, I had. Anyway, we used to go on dinners, lunches, and trips and I started to lie to my husband about everything because I needed to spend time with him. Unlike me, Luke was not married or anything. He was single. I didn't just like his look, but also the sex was amazing. I mean, at the beginning, I liked him for his look and for the way he talked, and because he was also a smart guy and had a great heart. But then I wanted him because he was great at sex. He made me experience so many orgasms I can't even count. He turned into an obsession. It was like I needed him, like my body needed to feel him. So yeah, we started having sex every day. Can you imagine we even did it at work once? We could not resist it, even if it was very dangerous. We could both be fired, but that didn't stop us. Like many of you can dream, we had sex on the table of my office and the adrenaline was so high. It may seem cliche or I don't know how, but I enjoyed it so much. I guess we both did. It may be the danger that made it so exciting. However, he lived alone in his apartment and we mostly met at his place. We would spend hours closed there making love and enjoying the presence of each other. During those days, I forgot about my husband at all. But anyway, I had to lie to him every time I went to Luke's place or every time I went out with him. But it was like I had my eyes closed and I didn't care about what he thought. I didn't care if I was hurting him or not. I didn't care about what would happen if he found out about my affair. I was acting so careless it was like I wanted him to know about us. I wanted him to know everything and just let me be with Luke. I was going out every day or every night and coming home late until my husband exploded. One night I came home late and I told him that I would be out with my friends because it was the birthday of one of my friends. When I went home, I found him walking around the house and as soon as I walked in, he started shouting to me like crazy. Where have you been until midnight, he told me. Have you forgotten that you are married? <laughs> I didn't know what to do, but I went near him and told him sorry I didn't see the time. And then I started kissing him. After some time, we made love again, guys. I can't say it was bad, but I did it thinking about Luke. 
When it ended, I got so afraid. Why was I doing that? I mean, having sex with my husband and thinking about my affair. I was feeling sad. But again, I could not give up on Luke. The next day, my husband was all sweet and nice, like nothing had happened. I liked that I thought I had the things resolved so I could calmly continue my affair with Luke. When I went to work, I also wanted to talk to Luke. Making love in the office had turned into a habit. So he came into my office, closed the door, and tried to do it. And I refused. I told him we were risking losing everything so we could not do it anymore in the office because someone could see us. But then he came closer, and I could not say no. It happened again. Then again, I asked him to understand I could not lose the job, and I would also lose my husband. He told me that I could lose my husband because he wanted me all for himself and kissed me again. I didn't know what to do or how to explain that I didn't want to take that kind of risk anymore, and I wanted it all to end inside the office. I also had noticed how my colleagues had started to stare at me in a strange way, like they knew something and it could be true. We could have been seen acting like that, careless. I made it clear to Luke that we would only meet outside work, and there we would act like we were not close to each other, and finally he was okay with that. After that day, we would mostly meet each other at his apartment. My husband was good. He was working hard for us, and he was spending all the nights at home. He didn't seem like he was doubting anything about my affair. I was trying to be more careful. I knew that what I was doing was not right, but still I could not stop myself. I don't know if it was all about sex or not. It felt like I loved him, but now I know it was not love. And I will also tell you. At the beginning, I was also not afraid to lose my husband, but lately when I saw his doubts, I was so afraid, and I knew I didn't want to lose him. He also was not in love with me because he never asked me to leave my husband and be completely his. I knew what I was risking lately, but I didn't want to give it up. Luke was like the escape of reality. When I was with him, I forgot about everything. It was amazing what his presence could do. While with my husband, sex became a rare thing. Every time he came near me and tried to have sex with me, I found an excuse not to do it. While with Luke, it was all so easy, I could not resist him. If I am being honest and I know you will judge me, he was like a sex expert and brought me to the stars and back to earth. That was the kind of feeling. But I didn't know that during this time my husband had been observing me and he was doubting my honesty. He actually was right to do that because I had been lying to him so often, and he was no stupid. Sure he would understand. I thought I was being smart, but he was smarter. You know guys, before starting this affair, I never thought I could do that to my husband. I was the one who would judge everyone who cheated on their partner. I also would come here and read those stories and think to myself, how could someone cheat on the person they love? But here I am telling you, I had cheated on my husband, and I am now living the nightmare of my life, and I don't know when or how it will end. While I was thinking about how to continue my affair with Luke without people finding out, my husband was planning how to catch me cheating, and he was also planning his revenge. He did so well. He is a smart person, and he would never allow anyone to play him. So yeah, he would never forgive me for that. Anyway, guys, while I was living my affair with Luke and enjoying it, he installed a GPS tracker on my car and gave me the worst shock of my life when he showed up. That day, Luke wanted us to go to a hotel near work, which was not very visible. We went with my car, both of us, because he had his car in a service. Little did I know that my husband was following me and he would come there and surprise me. We got out of my car and no matter how I had warned him, Luke got my hand and gave me a kiss while we were getting in the hotel. My husband was watching everything. Now I feel so ashamed, but all those things have happened and I can't change them anymore. I lost my husband. I didn't know it would hurt me so much. He actually was the love of my life, but I got lost on my way in this life and forgot what real love meant. I forgot what family and honesty meant. Now I am facing the consequences of my stupid decisions. Well, let's get back to the story. Because as you see, I tend to lose the essence of this story because I know how judged I will be. However, I need to continue. My husband was watching us while we went into the hotel, but he was not only watching, he was also taking pictures of us holding hands and kissing each other's lips. As we walked in, I saw a room full of roses and petals. Even if it was a small hotel, it was very romantic and beautiful. There was a jacuzzi in the room, and we could enjoy the stay there while we could also enjoy the amazing view of the city in front of us. I thought it would be an amazing day and night because I was planning to spend the night with him, while I had told my husband that I would go to my parents' house. It felt so good to relax near him there but that relax would turn out to be the worst day of my life. We got to the room and we decided to relax in the jacuzzi first with each other. 
I didn't pass long and the door rang. We thought it was room service because we asked for some champagne in the room. But no, it was my husband. Luke went to open the door with a towel around his belly, and I was in the jacuzzi. Luke was also shocked. My husband came in applauding, and then he saw the room full of roses and me naked in the jacuzzi. Words can never tell how difficult that moment was or how ashamed I felt. I wished I could disappear in that moment. That was the only thing I wanted to disappear. I wanted to die. But I was forced to look at him to see what I had done for pleasure. I had destroyed my marriage. After that night, I knew that I had lost him forever. I also knew that I loved him so much. But it was too late. He didn't say a word to Luke, but he came near me and looked me in the eyes for some seconds and then told me, You are the most disgusting woman I have ever known. Can't believe I have loved you and I married you. I told him I was sorry because I didn't know what to say. There were no words to say in that case. Nothing could make the thing easier. He told me that he never wanted to see me again. He also told me that he had been following me for some time, and he never thought I could do something like that. Well, he said so many bad words and he was right, so say everything. I also know that all of you will judge me. I can't undo things. Believe me, if I could, I would. My husband told me that he was going to get my clothes out of the house and send them to my parents' home because he was disgusted with me and with everything that was mine. While he was talking, tears were falling from my eyes. I could only hear him because I had nothing to say. He was right to say everything that he wanted. I had let him down. I had hurt him. But I never expected him to do the thing that he did to me after that day. Of course, he would tell me to move out of our apartment because it was his house. He had bought it, and I was supposed to go away. But making pictures of me and Luke holding hands while getting out of the car, and he giving me a stamp kiss and using them to destroy my life, I never thought he could do that. Anyway, I really don't judge him, because he was hurt and he wanted to take his revenge, so I won't say here that he destroyed my life. I destroyed my own life by going and finding someone else and having an affair. If you had asked me before, I would have talked about those who cheat on their partner with great hate and disgust. But look at me now, in the position where I am the cheater. At that moment, I was hating myself the most. He said all those words and then got out of Luke's apartment. After that, I was shocked, and I didn't know what to do. So was Luke. I sat there crying, and I couldn't stop. Then Luke came near me, and you won't believe what he told me. While giving me a kiss, he said, Hey, beautiful, don't cry. A little sex will cheer you up. He was more disgusting than I was. How could he say that? I was going through the most difficult moment of my life, and he wanted to console me by having sex? I told him, Are you serious right now? Can't you see in what condition I am? His reply kept shocking me more. He had no feelings, no human feelings. What? Why are you so surprised? Didn't we come here to have... Don't you like it anymore? Oh my God, he was serious, and I can't tell you how disgusting I was from him. I told him that he was the biggest mistake of my life, and crying, I got dressed, took my bag, and left his apartment. I could not believe myself. What had I done? He just wanted me for sex. Well, I won't say that I didn't love sex with him, but I also thought I was feeling something, and he was feeling the same. Do you remember when he told you that he once told me that he wanted me all for himself? Well, it was a lie. I wanted to have sex with me, and he just loved that about me. How could I do that? Cheat on my husband and believe to some stranger who I had just met? And what person had I turned into? All those questions were running through my mind, and I couldn't stop crying. People stared at me like I was a zombie beating. I was walking and crying. But where would I go? I had no place to go. I only had my husband and my family. Then I thought I could go to my parents' home. They didn't know anything about what I had done, so I couldn't stop taking my time and think about a solution or finding an apartment. One thing I knew for sure, my husband would never forgive me. So I had to tell my parents the truth, and I had to find a way to move on. But things were not that easy. I still loved him. And my parents would also make my life a nightmare for what I had done to my husband. And I also used to work with Luke. How would I still look him into the eyes? How could I still work with him? I couldn't, but I had to. I had no other choice. I went to my parents' home and I found them discussing and my mother was crying. My luggage was there, standing in the middle of the room. My husband had already brought them. But guess what he brought together with them? The pictures of me and Luke he took without my noticing. That is why my mother was crying. My father started screaming at me right away, telling me that they didn't raise me like that. My mother instead asked me, 
What had my husband done? Had he hurt me in any way that I did that? I told them I was really sorry and that it was a moment of weakness. Things got a little colder between me and my husband. And when I did that, I cheated on him, which was the biggest mistake of my life. I apologized to them and I told them it was true. They didn't raise me in that way. I made a mistake and it would take forever for me to forgive myself. Then I asked them if I could stay for some time with them. They said yes, I was their daughter, and they would not let me on the road. I went to the room that once was my room, closed the door, and kept crying until I fell asleep. The nightmare had not ended. The next day I went to work, and I was terrified of seeing Luke again. I didn't want to see him again. But the next surprise was that in an anonymous letter, my husband sent pictures of me and Luke kissing and holding hands. One of the policies of the company was that we were not allowed to get in a relationship with our colleagues. No romantic relationships were allowed. So you can all guess, me and Luke got fired for breaking the rules. My husband knew damn well how things would go, and he knew I needed that job. But he took his revenge. Good for him. Maybe he was now feeling better and relieved, but my life was destroyed. It was not all about the job, but everyone had seen those photos, and I was ashamed. I kept hating myself. I could not look any of my colleagues in the eyes because of the shame I was feeling. I could not even look in the mirror. I was disgusted with myself. When we got out, Luke came to talk to me, but before he started talking, I told him, not even a word. I don't want to hear you. I went back home and I told my mom what happened and I cried in her arms. I was lost. I did that to myself. This is the story of how I lost myself, guys. I hope you will not only judge me, but give me some advice or help to move on and forgive myself because right now I'm living a nightmare. Thank you very much to everyone for reading my story. Linda, update. Hello guys, it's me, Linda, again. I'm back here because I have seen how incredibly interested you were in my life story. I will admit that many of you judged me real bad, like I expected, but also there were some people that told me not to be so hard on myself because sometimes life happens and we get lost in the way. Well, it is not that easy for me after what I had done. I don't really have much to update you about. My life is just going on. I have not found a job yet, and I am still searching. It's not easy, and I am also not confident about it. Also, I am still living with my parents. Life with them is not easy, no matter how much I love them. But I am really thankful for them. You have been asking if I have talked to Luke or my ex-husband anymore. Well, I have only seen my husband because of the divorce process in court, and I will tell you how he humiliated me even more. He used those pictures to make the divorce process easier and quicker. I don't think it was right because I was going to get divorced anyway. He just wanted to humiliate me in front of everyone, and he did that. I don't think it was right, but maybe I deserved it. About Luke, I haven't seen or heard from him, and I never want to. My life is still a nightmare, which I am trying to escape from, so please, guys, be gentle to me. I will not come back anymore for any other update. I just will have some support from any of you. Stay safe, guys. Much love, Rep. Linda.